It's the last day before the city council breaks for their Christmas and holiday break. And they got a full agenda and they're railroading through all of these contracts for the emergency manager. They're railroading through a gangster takeover of the water board. They're railroading through an unbelievable amount of um, land in this, in this vulture capitalism land sale to John Hans, doing business as Hans Woodland. And the people came out, and we got a right to comment. We got a right to talk impact. We got a right to demand transparency. We got a right to be engaged in democracy. So this is democracy. I think Charles Pugh was improper in curtailing the access for people to redress their government. The zoning board has the auditorium reserve. City council chambers is extremely small and profoundly intimate. The zoning board came to request, let's switch venues, and he said no. And I just asked him why didn't he, and he said they got a reserve. And I said they came to request a switch of venues themselves. And you've been asked by several citizens for the switch, and the zoning has agreed, why won't you switch? And he was like, I'm in control of this process. He curtailed it. He created a barrier of access. He is allowing people to speak only a minute and a half. You cannot bear witness to the proceedings, so you're relegated to the margins until he requests you to enter the, the sacred space of the city council and give your comment. So you don't have the benefit of none of the group dialogue, you don't know the agenda, you don't know what they, where they're at in their agenda, so it's a closed meeting. Democracy has to have active, engaged, robust citizens participation, and we have to demand in no shape, form, or fashion, access and accommodations by our public officials. I think the city council should be ashamed of themselves for how they operated today, and I think they should have went into the auditorium, and I think that, that we're not going to hear the end of this.